So I've been watching this show. And you guys know that every now and then I come in and I share with y'all shows that I'm watching, give you my thoughts, all of that stuff, right? So this show has had me in a chokehold. And this show isn't a new show. This show was out back before Trump was in office. And I know that the watchers of this show, there is a huge super fandom of people that watch this show, that are continuing to re-watch this show. And I just want to describe the two stars of this show. And I want to see who can pinpoint the name of this show down in the comment section. Okay, so first of all, y'all have to know that this show is an investigative type show, right? It's an investigative type show, and they have investigate like creepy things that are happening all across the U the United States, right? Um, they deal with vampires, they deal with um, crazy monsters, they deal with uh, certain situations, angels, demons. Um, they've even dealt with things outside of that, kidnappings, things that are just real crazy. And along the way, they have um, made some valuable friendships, so much so that all of these people, a lot of these people who are recurring ca characters on the show, they've sort of become a family. Right. So the two stars of this show, they are brothers and they are brothers who investigate these weird and creepy situations that are taking place. So let me describe the brothers. Now, both of them, they share a lot of characteristics and qualities, but they differ in a lot of ways. Um, so they both are very sweet. They both are very sensitive. They both are loving and caring and protective. You have to be in order to do what it is that they do, right? That's where they are very similar, right? But because of things that they have come into contact with, things that have happened as a result of their childhood and their upbringing, um, this, I believe, is what makes them differ. They have handled these situations differently. And we get, we get to see how they differ. So one of them is hilarious. <laughs> he, don't, he doesn't take a lot of things seriously, right? Whereas the other one is more serious, right? He's not... As funny, he's more reserved. The one that's funny, he's more funny and outgoing. And and I would say the one that's more funny is the extroverted one. The one that's more reserved is an introverted individual, right? The one that's more reserved, he likes to talk through situations. He likes to talk about feelings. He doesn't want to hold these things in because he knows it affects you. And if it's affecting you, then it's affecting the work that you do out in the field. Whereas the funny one, child, <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't like to talk about his feelings. He, he internalizes things especially hurtful things. He doesn't like to be vulnerable. He drinks and eats his feelings, right? So where they also differ is when you look at these two individuals, remember I told you that they are brothers and, and you, you look at them and how they would be when it comes to relationships. The more reserved one is husband material, 
right? He's going to be the one that's going to take the wife and the kids and they're going to go out for daily walks. He's going to be in the kitchen helping to cook. He's going to be the one that's not going to be out hanging with the boys. He's going to be home with his family. The funny one? <laughs> yeah, he's more he's more of like Mr. Right now, right? He, he He's good for a roll in the hay, no more, no less. But at the same time, if you are able to break that shell that he has, he will be the best man for a woman, right? So the, the more reserved one, the introverted one, he's the researcher of the two, right? He's the one that's going to go through all of the books in their library to try to figure out what it is that they are dealing with when they go out on these investigations. Hint, they call these investigations hunts. They call themselves not investigators, but hunters. That's a hint, right? So the more reserved one, the introverted one, he's the researcher, right? The extroverted one, the one, Mr. Right Now, the funny one, he's the one. He ain't trying to research. He knows there's the problem. Once they figure out who the problem is, he's like, I'm busting in and I'm shooting everybody in the room. If you with him, you a part of the problem too. Shoot first and then we'll ask questions later, right? <laughs> the more reserved one, he he is the more um friendly one he wants everybody to get along he wants everybody to talk things through he goes along to get along he will he he will stuff down his feelings of critique just to keep peace whereas the other one he's more um take charge he is more controlling he's the older brother so you know what he says goes and he's not always right right the younger one a lot of the times is more right because he's more level headed now if you stayed this long here's the show that I'm talking about these two supernatural this is dean this is the extrovert. This is the shoot now, ask questions later. This is the one that he's Mr. Right Now. But if you can hang on in there and break that shell, baby, he will he will be the perfect man. He he will be your protector. He will be your lover. He will be your friend. Right? This, this is Sam. They call him Sammy. He's more reserved, he's loving, he's caring, he wants to talk about feelings, he wants to work through issues, right? He's going to be at the house cooking, he's going to take care of the kids, and he's going to protect you. <laughs> I love this show. I'm on season, season um, 18, no, season 13, episode 18. <laughs> I love them. I love these men. If you take all of the descriptives that I provided you all and put it into one man, baby, I would marry that man. And y'all know I, I, I'm happily single, but I would marry that man because they both can put it down. 